Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Changing Your Direction. I'm so excited that you have decided to tune into the broadcast today. You're going you're gonna to be delighted, not only delighted, you're going to be moved by the power of God. I want you to stay tuned because what's next is for you a mighty deliverance from the Word of God. Stay tuned.
It's a divine appointment that you are watching this program right now. Healing, power, deliverance, and prophetic impartation are yours right now. Are you ready to receive it right now? It's time to move your life to the next level right now. I'm going to receive the Holy Ghost. I'm going to receive my healing. I want you to understand that we serve an awesome God. Do I have a witness in this house? But let me tell you, if you build up your praise and whenever you get in trouble, you already, you can make a withdrawal from the presence and the power of God. Right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church, our mission is simple, to bring you into the transforming presence of God. Each and every week, lives are being changed, families are being restored, and destiny is being fulfilled. And we want to invite you to be a part of all that God is doing through His church. Join us for a visit to one of our worship services so you can experience an environment full of God's power. When you do, we want to sow a special gift into your life. On this program, you only saw a small portion of the message preached by Pastor Hickson. When you visit with us, we will give you this entire message on your choice of CD or DVD absolutely free as our way of saying thank you for visiting. When you arrive, simply let the person that greets you know that you are a first-time visitor and give them the name of the message you see on your screen. So make your plans to visit with us right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church. Our location, website, and service times are on the screen. You, your family, your future are important to God. You want to know how your worship is doing when you don't even understand, when you can't figure it out, you can't see your way, but it won't steal my worship. It won't steal my praise when I can't see my way. He said that he'll be, his word will be a light unto my feet and a path I want you to know. No matter how dark it is, no matter how dark it seems, Jesus still on the throne. Ah. Somebody say yes. Yeah. Somebody say yes. Release the going to the word. Woo! I want you to stand to your feet. Hapo shin rabo shinaha. Make a shin rebe shinaha. Mian rabo bo shinaha. God reign in this place. Holy Ghost reign in this place. Woo! Woo! Reign in this place. Break yokes in this place. Break burdens in this place. Free their mind in this place. Heal their soul in this place. Heal their heart in this place. Woo. This is my Bible. Today, I declare and decree the Word of God will change my life forever. I will invest in myself and others and feed my spirit the word of God Romans 8 37 nay in all these things we are we are I can't hear you we are more than conquerors through him that loves us somebody say little become much when you place it in the master's hand come on by Come unto you, and the church says what? Amen. Never be the same. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be the same. I don't want to remain the same. I'm expecting change. I'm expecting a catastrophic change in my life for His glory. I'm expecting a change that not only my walk, but my talk, my attitude. My focus, my purpose. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting a change. I'm not just going to sit. I'm believing God for change. Yeah, change. Somebody say change. change. Somebody say change. change. Today, 
I want to talk to you all and teach you. There are four biblical givings in the Bible. And I want you to understand no more lack. No more lack. No more. Well, Pastor, how can you say this? And I'm going through a financial struggle. I'm going through some things right now. But I want to teach you today how to destroy the enemy off your finances. And I want you to realize that there are four biblical principles. I deal with two of them today. Tithing and offering. And first fruit. Arms is also one. And seed. That's four. But what I'm going to speak to you about today is going to change your life. Tithing is the way for recession or depression to pass you by. Tithing is the way for recession or depression to pass you by. Honor the Lord. We don't honor the Lord just on Sunday morning. You honor the Lord in your business transaction, whether it's on Monday or if it's on Friday, if it's on Saturday. You honor the Lord. You honor him. And when you honor him, he's telling you, honor him with the first. All your increases. Not some of your increases. I talk about the first fruit. The first fruit operates this way. When it says, it, speak about the first fruit in the Bible. Say you're working on a job. And they give you $100. And you got $100 and, and, and that's an increase. And you, you say, well, I'm going to go ahead and honor God with the first fruit that he had given me. You only do that one time a year. That's all. One time. Honor him. Because why? When you give it, you're giving the word. You're giving him blessed for the word. You're thanking him for his generosity. It's generosity giving. How many have given to us when we weren't even given to him? Oh, no, we all give to that. Huh? Then some of us are so stingy you ain't going to never give anyway. That's why you're always struggling. That's why you're struggling. If you receive it and trust in God and believe in God, I know it ain't no shout message like last Sunday. But I want you to walk in the power of God, give it and receive it. Just like I told you two Sundays ago, this is what? A fist. Nothing could get in and nothing can get out. I'm not going to, God said, you don't have to beg no one for anything. But if you want to be blessed, you got to learn how to do this. And you got to learn how to receive as well as give. But if you're working for the kingdom and the glory of God, you're going to be doing this all the time. I mean, like I said, ain't nothing wrong with it because he said, I'll return it. I will return. It will return. A lot of us struggling every day. We're struggling trying to make ends meet because we don't trust him to return the tithe. We don't trust him to believe him enough. If I give you $20, you won't pay tithe on it. You'll take the whole 20 and go down there over there to, the, to the place and eat everything. Or you're going to spend all the money right over there at that restaurant. Huh? Because they say all you can eat, you're going to eat every $20 and plus. Huh? See, and I tell you, if you're going to walk with power and authority, you must obey the word. Not only living right, but being able to being, learn how to be a giver. Learn how to give your time. I know there was one gentleman, that was a, one of our brothers in the church. He said, Look, listen to this video. And I looked at it. I looked at the video about 45 seconds. And that was a, a, a bishop and was speaking that you don't have to pay tithe no more. I don't know what Bible he, uh, she was reading. Because it's in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. In the Old Testament, they gave fruit, and they gave all these. And in the New Testament, he's talking about what you're getting. And not only that, giving your time and understanding what God wants you to do. 
And some people want to always hide about, I, ain't, I, I just don't have it. Well, that's why you are never blessed because you just don't have it. God said, I'm waiting to give it to you, but you're too stingy to release. So therefore, I can release it to you. If you want God to start releasing in you, you start releasing into God. If I want to bless God, oh, Lord, bless me. No, you can bless God every time you wake up in the morning. Lord, I want to give you praise. I want to thank you. I want to bless you today. Every time you're going throughout one day, you can bless the Lord saying, Lord, that's how good you are. Thank you, Jesus. You bless the Lord by walking right. You bless the Lord by doing right. You bless the Lord by doing the right thing at the right time. You got to be able to understand if I want the if I want the blessing, uncommon favor on my life, if I want the windows of heaven to be above my head, I don't care what you earn. It, but let me tell you something. God have given you the strength. He have given you the knowledge. He have given you the, the not only the strength and knowledge. Well, Lord, I only got one hundred eighty dollars. Well, you turn around and you give God a tenth, and now you looking at one hundred eighty. But you see, your math does not equal to God's word. Your math cannot figure out that I bring you out of this. I don't. I don't care if you have. 180 you turn around and give him 10% out of that you give him the 18 and what God gonna do he gonna turn around and say, multiply because he said prove me now that I will not open up a window that you have no room to receive we constantly want to prove men let me tell you something it's amazing when somebody come to town and give you a word you'll come out of your bag you'll pull the last thing you'll make sure you put it let me tell you if you ain't doing it every time on what you're regularly doing because you did it at one time that don't mean you're gonna get blessed you got to turn around and begin to realize I'm going to do it every time I get a paycheck. I'm going to do it every time God bless me. I'm looking to bless others because I'm getting ready to be blessed. I wanted you to turn around and tell us, listen, neighbor, it's time for us to get it right. It's time for us to do it what God said. It's time for us to be in there, not only giving. If I'm going to ever become the head and not the tail, I got to have the mentality to walk upright and to do what God called me to do. You're never going to become a lender because you don't have the lender mentality. You're going to always be a barber because you're too stingy to trust God. I don't want to be a borrower the rest of my life. I want God, I want people to call on me and say, do God, that you can be blessed. And what you got to realize that if you got a business and you're not blessing God, you're not going to increase. I ain't whooping y'all today. I just want you to get free. I want you to be free. If God could bring you out of a condition and bless you like you have never been blessed before. A lot of us get blessed and forget about who he is. This is one thing that's amazed me. And I keep on praying for this. When you're going through the storm and rain, nobody can't beat you here. You're on time. You're on time to church. You're on time. You're ready. But give them God a good three months and Jesus is going to pull them out. And oh, Lord, they're going to pull up in the parking lot with the new vehicle. God, thank you, Jesus, in the house. And then after a minute, they're going to start drifting away. He done supplied the need. Now you done drift away. Lord, I'm going to stay closer because I'm, that's the only temporary because you're getting ready to do some other things. You understand what I'm saying? If we're going to ever get into the riches and the glory of God, and not only that, the bountiful blessings of God, we got to realize that if we're going to walk in a bountiful blessing, you got to walk in a bountiful obedience of his word. You got to turn around. I don't know all the word. If you don't know it all, just begin to read it every day. Lord, strengthen me where I'm weak. Strengthen me to get through this. Strengthen me how to love my enemy. Strengthen me how to go from one point to another. Because you'll never be able to what? Become the head if you keep acting like the tail. Stop acting like the tail and start thinking like the head. I hope you have enjoyed the message this far. I want you to stay tuned because your breakthrough is waiting for you. You will enjoy the rest of this message. Making $2.30 an hour. 10th grade, working at Sunnyland Pizza Place. Watching God do amazing things with $39.05. It's amazing what he could do. Living in Circle Plaza, give my mom $30 and I kept... The, the nine dollars because a metro day bus was only 15 cents because we're looking for a way out of a, a situation and you begin to trust God and you begin to pay your tithe and you begin to believe God God give you favor so you get a pay raise my wife thought I was crazy at one time I come home and I start screaming and hollering I got a 25 cent raise 
I got a 25 cent raise and shit. I, what's wrong, man? I got me a 25 cent raise. Now you go figure out that 25 cents over 40 hours a week. Now you multiply it over a month. I got $32 more increase on my. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You got to be thankful for God and what he does. He said, if I can trust you with the small things, I'm going to give you the greater things. I want to say this to you. God never starts from the top. He starts from the bottom up. Never going to start from the top with God. He starts from the bottom up. Because he said, I got to trust you first. And you talking about I'm blessed and highly favored won't do what God called you to do. I'm blessed and highly favored, but you don't want to walk in the power of who he is. I'm blessed and highly favored, but you only got your favorite persons you want to be around. I'm blessed and highly favored. And then the next few minutes, you say, well, the devil show is busy. What God are you serving? What God are you serving? If I'm going to be blessed and highly favored, I got to what? Know the word, walk in the word, and watch what I speak out of my mouth. Stop talking about it is what it is. You just go ahead and cut God's word in short. It is what it is. But my Bible, when God came to Jeremiah, he said, Jeremiah, word, the Bible said the word came unto, a word came unto Jeremiah. And he said, and God told him, say, am I am the God of all flesh. There's nothing too hard for God. Stop saying it is what it is because you're cutting off everything spiritually. I want you to realize some of the battle that you're fighting is spiritual, not flesh. And you begin to say words that they have no power, but it have power enough to hang up everything in the spirit for you. It have power enough to stop your blessing from coming. It have power enough to, to stop you from doing what God called you to do. Why do you think that person who you thought was your friend in your ear telling you everything against the word of God? Stop hanging around people that don't have faith. Stop hanging around people that don't want to do what God called us to do. You know God had given us to do this, and God have te- and not only we, it had been all messed up, but he said, war unto them that add and take away from the word. But I want you to understand something. God wants you and I to be blessed, and he wants us to walk in bountiful blessing. We'll never walk in bountiful blessing if we keep listening to the wrong person. We're hanging with the wrong people. Folk that don't have no faith. Folk that that, that, they seed is all chewed up and destroyed. Why are you going to plant a seed and then you're going to go turn around and dig it up? You plant a seed and then you, this is how you dig your seed up. I don't know why I gave it to him. I shouldn't give it to him anyway. So what you just gave in vain. You plant it and you just gave it in vain. You give it and trust God. How many want some things to be broken off their children? How many want some things to be broken off their finances? How many want some things to where God can open up a door that you have no room to receive? God Almighty, no. Someone, you know, well, every time me and my wife have a problem, we plant a thousand dollar seed. No, you ain't got to plant no five thousand dollar seed when you have a problem. All you got to do is pay your tithe. All you got to do is pay your tithe. Pay your tithe and trust God. Today, excuse me, I thank you for correcting me on that. I'm going to return my tithe. You see how it's all messed up in there? I come in this word and say, I'm going to say return, and I'm just keep saying pain. But I'm going to be better. Uh, you know, uh, when, when, you, when, you, when you know better, you're going to do better. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I know God has blessed us here and you want to continue to bless, but I want you to know something, that when you return your tithe, return your tithe. You're all so stingy. I'm going to stop in a minute. Return it, mother, return it. You know, I'm not picking on y'all, mother. But what I'm saying, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to handle this, this part of my service. Mother, y'all going to teach the mothers. The other ones that come along, the other young ladies that come in the ministry. Y'all going to teach them how to bless the house of God. How to walk in blessing. See, when you walk in blessing, you're teaching others how to bless the house of God. Everybody, we have to be taught. We, you and I have to be taught. You, we have been so many years, and how old, you, how old you are, they say, well, just pay it. Oh, that's another bill I don't need. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to return it because why? He blessed me. 
He blessed me over the highways and the byways. I may have difficult moments on my job, but he opened up doors and he gave me favor anyhow. I may not get the pay raise that I want to, but you know I'm going to work is just as hard. And I'm going to believe God that he's able to do all things but fail. One of the most difficult things to you is that if you're going to trust God, Lord, this got to go to you. Your pastor here, I pay my tithe. I practice what I preach. I practice what I preach. Because I don't play with it. Because when one of the most powerful things is resist the devil and he should flee. It said resist. Now if I want to be blessed, I'm going to honor the Lord. Whew. To request a copy of today's broadcast, call us at 1-855-NOW-FAITH. That's 1-855-669-3248. Or visit our website at changingyourdirection.org. Write to us at 101 South Redland Road, Florida City, Florida, 33034. Full Deliverance Ministries, where little becomes much when you place it in the Master's hand, is changing your direction the victorious way. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. We're out of time, but I want you to join us on social media and other media outlets. We're there for you. We're praying for you. I want to just encourage you to encourage someone else. Make this message a part of your library. God bless you. Thank you for your support and your prayers as we continue to reach a nation for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you next week at this time, changing your direction.